the one. This relates to uh, 10 ASEAN, which is uh, Associated Southeast Asian Nations. Countries who ditch US dollar. We'll read the countries off. 10 countries look to stop using the US dollar, settle trade payments in their local currency instead. There's a report that China and Russia they're going to use the ruble and the, uh, the yuan. These 10 Asian nations, the associated Asian nations, were looking to stop the US uh, dollar trade. Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam. According to the latest figures, the National Monetary Fund, IMF, uh, called the World Bank a combined relating to those uh, associated uh, Southeastern Asian nations that currently stand around four trillion. This is a watch uh, a watchman uh, a watcher who report article report. Talks about uh, one of the most aggressive of the nations pushing to de-dollarization agenda ahead. And that's the BRICS nation. That their goal is to de-dollarization, to destabilize the U.S. currency from being the uh, predominant uh, globally, and most of all, break the uh, dependency from using it. The Indonesian President Joko uh, Widodo. is um, urging the block to um, quickly move away from the U.S. dollar and start using this local respective currency. Um, read a little bit. And the move was driven the nation's economy, given local currencies and moves in the global foreign exchange markets. Several developing countries fear the rise in relate to the U.S. debt, 34.4 trillion and, and, and higher can affect the, um, the native um, economies and businesses. But therefore, only solution to the American debt is to make um, associated Southeast Asian countries use local currency to sideline the U.S. dollar. And that's their goal. There's um, a report relating to um, which is um, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. China and Russia reveal they successfully dished the U.S. dollar. That's two major superpowers, man. And admit that the, uh, the BRIC block growth initiatives, both China and Russia, announced 90% of the trade between them is conducted in ruble or yuan after ditching the U.S. dollar. Both President Vladimir Putin and uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping meet to discuss the uh, relations between both BRIC nations and how to further alliance, uh, further the alliance's mission. And their mission ultimately is to de-dollarize, destabilize, and break the sovereignty power of that dollar. Man. And respectfully, they can use other forms of currency where they don't, they can break where they can break off the dependency of the dollar. That's the BRICS ultimate goal and objective, man. But their their main goal is is to collapse that dollar, man. Ninety percent of all the trade between China and Russia is conducted in in yuan after ditching the US um, dollar, let me say. had a great effect on our trade. 90% of all settlements are done in ruble and yuan. We've just been to 
discussing the further directions of our cooperation, all in the interests of Russia's and China's economies. All right, uh, let me see. I'll read some more of this article. Russia and reveal a mass joint statement that deepens the uh, diplomatic uh, relations between the two nations. Specifically, both nations have agreed to increase the comprehensive partnership and strategic operations. The latest move involving the Chinese yuan and the Russian ruble is a massive step towards de-dollarization and local currency promotion. Both Russia and China have been at the forefront of the alliance in terms of de dollarization dollarization efforts. Furthermore, their boosted relationship sets a precedence for the other BRICS nations to collaborate with addition the U.S. dollar. So all would eventually follow suit. You have the nations that are pretty much on the piggyback or the tail end as far as co collaborating with the BRICS to do the same thing in sort of. Russians, uh, Russian Putin has also, also revealed in me that shift towards the national currencies and had a positive effect on trade. And he added that the move is in the big, big, it's in the best interest of their economies, man. So they're looking out for their economies, man, because they see the United States economy is not stable, especially with the increase in debt. And ultimately, directly, indirectly affects these other economies globally and worldwide. Um, to surpass the uh, multiple sanctions imposed upon the country by the West overall BRICS is using de-dollarization to sway interested countries to have a less trust in the U.S. So Russia and China, they uh, they do certain things. The other AC, the other nations ultimately will fall fall suit, like I was saying, and get on board to do the same thing. Man. Pretty much a trickle down effect, man, the domino effect. The countries that have less trust in the U.S. thus decided to abandon it. Uh, the BRICS alliance is also working on a common BRICS currency to use among the block blockchain. This would be used in addition to the local currency already used. Ditching the U.S. dollar would bring forth a new world order where the greenback isn't dominant. In the global market reserve. That's the point. In the latest announcement, Russia have revealed that that this mission is edging further towards completion. So they're getting closer and closer. cashless and ultimately leads to revelations man 13 which is a certain uh let's just say a device that's going to potentially a physical device is going to be aggressively mandatory we're all collectively individually and collectively have to comply man. uh 13 and uh Calls both small, great, rich, poor, free, and bond. And that's the point. All denominations. None are going to be exempt. There's not going to be a respecter of persons relating to that. You know, they all going to have to uh, get on board to do that. And he calls them all both small, great, rich, free, and bond. And who calls all that? The ones in the position of power, man. To implement, to uh, impose, to impose this upon the people. Man. It's going to be a form of forced compliance. Man. And he calls all both small, great, rich, poor, free, and bond to receive the mark in the right hand for it. And the, the technology relating to the CI, the, CI, uh, the CHIP is here, man. 
people are seeing it. People already have it. They're using it for different things, man. Open up their car, open up their house, get a candy bar out. The technology's here, man. People already have it, voluntarily have it, man. But it's going to get a point collectively, globally, that it's going to be, man, it's going to be uh, aggressively mandatory. They're all going to have it. That's why it says small, great, rich, poor, free, or bond. And no man might no man might buy or sell and say that he had the mark and the name of the beast or the number of his name. So without this mark, man, you're not gonna be able to continue further on in society. Whether, you know, to buy, sell, trade, or continue in society, man, without participating or having that mark. That mark is gonna be the the um, the next level, the next step relating to economically, financially, man. Fifteen, I'll read that. And he had the power to give life into the image of the beast, and the image shall both speak and cause as many would not. That's that authority, that draconic authority, man. He's going to come. The scripture talks about few, talking about lamb. Lamb is docile, but his authority is going to be in a, in a draconic manner, man, which is going to be more, more aggressive, more totalitarian, man. You know what I mean? So he's going to come more, more, um, more fierce and severe relating to compliance, man, making the people comply. And he had a power to give life into the beast, and the image of the beast shall both speak and cause many as not would not worship of the beast should be K-I-L-L-D. So what, if you don't comply, there'll be a consequence. That's what we're saying, man. to the CHIP man, which is actual a physical mark this is gonna this is gonna be where either in the right hand the left hand or the forehead man you see with the neural link you had complications with the individual taking that neural link I believe back eight years ago 2016 so the technology is here man it's rock 5 and 15 I'm not making this a long lesson Be not ignorant. That's in general. Anything in a great matter or small. This is a very great matter because collectively and individually, especially collectively, certain things relate to economically and financially is going to affect globally the collective masses, which is the people, man. So this is a great matter. So be not ignorant relating to that. This is something short. Zion Wolf. I hope this helps. All praise y'all. Bashim Yoshal Bashim Rakakadash. The water for ones who teach in this knowledge, so we know this truth of knowledge. So we can know this truth of knowledge. And the water y'all bash me for for put 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 in their spirit so they can teach. So we can know this truth of knowledge. We learn this truth of knowledge. And call all y'all bash me yourself, bash me kakadash. I'll praise y'all bash me yourself, bash me kakadash. Zaya with all else, late to information. Shalom.